What's up guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. Today we're focusing on a Broncos player. His name, let me just check, is Garrett Bowles. Bolle? Bollies. Um, Garrett B. GB? Who knows? I'm going to say Bolle, actually. Garrett Bolle. But it doesn't have a hyphen on it. Look, your guess is as good as mine at this point. He's a tackle. He plays for the Broncos. We're repping the Broncos. And with that in mind, it's, uh, it's time to get into this video. But first, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, Manscaped. Sup guys, it's Jacob here. Thank you, first and foremost, for clicking on my video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Manscaped. Now Manscaped do have a complete range of products on their website, but their most recent product, and the one that I'm using at the moment, is this, the Lawn Mower 4.0. So not only is the packaging impressive, but apparently, it's a whole new balls game. And here it is now, the latest addition to Manscaped's incredible selection of male grooming products. I've been using the products for a good couple of weeks now. I love them. There's no way I'd be making this video if I didn't. Manscaped use ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which means there's absolutely no risk of nicks or cuts. In fact, you could probably do it blindfolded. Not only that, but you can do it in the shower also. It's completely 100% waterproof and it's even got an LED light. So power or no power, you can still get the job done. For those wondering, is it a tool just for the downstairs area? No, no it's not. It's actually good for your entire body, including your face. And for anyone wondering, that's the length. But if that's too short for you, there are four different trimmer guard options, which means four different lengths, which means if you really wanted to, you could probably even draw a picture. It looks good, it's waterproof, it's rechargeable with a 90 minute charge, and it's only one of the incredible selection of products on the manscaped.com website. So head over there, check out www.manscaped.com, use code JACOBD20, that's J-A-C-B-D-2-0, for 20% off your entire order. Join myself, your other favorite YouTubers, and over 2 million men worldwide happily using these products. Once again, head down into the description box below, click the link, check out the entire range of products, use my discount code, happy days. Enjoy the video guys, and peace out. Right, so here he is in all his glory. Uh, GB, we're gonna call him at this point. Tackle for the Broncos. He looks enormous. He looks absolutely enormous. I'm not gonna lie, he's been an integral part of this video series so far, giving his opinion on other players. We're most likely going to see him a fair few more times throughout the list, but this video is specifically about him, about how he plays, about what other people think. So let's get into it. I'm in the league. I think I'm an athlete. I think I'm the best left tackle in the league. I think I'm an athlete from you know my lacrosse background to, to all the sports that I played in my younger years. I think it's just prepared me for the position that I play for the Broncos. Best left tackle in the league? I'm not so sure about that. I remember having conversations with like... <laughs> Tell you another guy that I cannot wait to see on this list who has been even more of an integral part than, than GB. Uh, it's this guy, JS, Justin Simmons. Another Bronco on the defensive side of the ball. He plays safety. And I'll tell you what. He's almost been in every single video so far, so if he's not on the list, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. But I reckon they might be using old Justin Simmons in a similar way that they used CJ Ham during last year's Top 100 list. And that is as a, an aesthetic face to look at. Combined with a charismatic personality, great use of adjectives when talking about fellow players. You're a star. You're an instant star. Anyway, let's continue. Bon, Chubb, um, you know, guys that go up against him all the time and saying like, man, you know, he has everything that there is to be a great left tackle. It's just that mentally knowing like where to be, what to do, this, that and the other. And so once he had that under his belt, you know, we saw that jump that he made and how he can be not just a great left tackle. but Oh, look at that. Look how close they were to the quarterback. That is some that is some su supreme confidence to stay in the pocket like that. He a big body, but it seems like he's a slimmer frame, but he's still a big body. And I had a play when I rushed against him in a game. Uh, tried to like bull rush, he locked on to me. Then I mm. tried to like, spin off. He like locked on, so I can't go. You nowhere. ain't going like, nowhere. Look at the ref, like can, we, can you call it? But he's so good with his hands. I would have thought that was holding, right? He locked on to you. He ain't getting off of bulls, man. That's great. Okay, so as long as you're in front, you can sort of grip their 
their you know rib area on their their chest guard kind of thing or maybe it's like a push pull kind of like shake the baby type technique i'm not sure you got to be careful you don't get called for holding right block it up five minutes back there let's go left tackle garrett Bowles did not mm. i'm sure drew lock likes him allow a single sack in 2020 resulting in his first top 100 appearance not a single sack as a left tackle that's all you can hope for the athletic fourth year pro was every bit as impressive in the run game oh there's nothing better than putting somebody in the dirt <laughs> yeah well legally please jesus that's a clubbing right hand i'm not sure if that's legal no that's really rewarding you know we take bang <laughs> see ya 29 of the dolphins you remember that play at all? Oh, I remember it clearly. Oh no, what's going to happen here? <laughs> and he's going to seal the edge. When they call that pull play, I'm ready to pull around and wherever Okay, I so he's got the athleticism. Reminds me of what we just saw with Zach Martin, the Dallas Cowboys guard, not tackle. The ability to shift left and right, start opening up real lanes for that running back. See, I'm going to blast him. So uh, I pulled and sort of went around the edge, and I didn't see anybody at first when I pulled. And as soon as I saw, you know, a white and green jersey, I just lowered my helmet and, and blasted him. <laughs> Boom -fa. I felt bad. Blasted him. At first, because I saw him rolling, and that, I think I killed him. They've done well <laughs> pulling bulls, and he's going to be able to come out to the outside, and he's going to seal the edge. Not quite. Terms used to be called pancake blocks. Still say that. I think you can still say that. Yeah, 29 was like, ah, shit. We don't get to pull that often, so the guards always get to do it. So when the tackle gets to pull, I'm um, using my athletic ability to get out and open. Well, surely a tackle would be able to pull wider, right? Or maybe it's the guard that pulls underneath the tackle usually and heads out to the left or right. I'm not sure. I take pride in that for sure. I mean, I lick my chops, man, when, when they call that pull. That would make sense. That would make more sense for a guard to mesh underneath the tackle. So they've still got someone staying there in the pocket, but the play is going to go to the left or right. Hmm. Play it. It's a great feeling for sure. Man, that jump that he made this year was just really cool to watch. Garrett Bowles leading the charge. I mean, I thought he was deserving of a Pro Bowl nod. But that all that stuff will come, man. He he just keeps keeps doing what he's doing. That stuff will come. The sky's the limit for him. So you know who I wish was talking just then, and I thought it might have been, although his voice probably wasn't high enough, was Philip Lindsay. How good would it have been to finish off that particular video with an interview with the running back that has ran behind the left tackle the entire year, rather than a safety? You know what I mean? Anyway, beggars can't be choosers. It is what it is. And that's another video done. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And I will see you in the next one. No time to lose. Peace out.